you can see if we undo all our cray cray changes here and go back to the parentheses version, you can see it's a little unwieldy. Like you have all these parents and you have to match them up and you have to have a stupid Visual Studio Code plugin that has different colored parentheses and has these boxes to know where you're actually at. Sometimes people will go like this, they'll tab and then they'll have the parentheses down and then they'll kind of align it. And so sometimes they can tell where the parentheses are a little easier, but then things like this, you won't get code hints, it's on a different line. It's just, it's a mess. And this is just JavaScript not being a functional programming language. But there is one way to make it a little bit easier and that's default arguments. One of the things that curried functions allow or partial applications is that they're partially applied, which means they have some of their arguments just like default arguments do. And so we can change that up to always have fetch, just like we talked about before, we're always gonna do fetch. And this is where curried functions have the complete opposite of default parameters. You want the known, non-dynamic or static stuff to the left, right? And then you want the dynamic stuff or unknown stuff to the right. That way we can say fetch ping and we'll call ping with our fetch module. And then we can literally just pass in the URL, right? So function takes one parameter, which is the URL. And we'll say fetch ping, copy paste drama there. and then we can get rid of this guy. And literally the only thing that changes, right, is just the URL because it's the second parameter. In this case, these partial applications have already got fetch basically partially applied. So fetch ping is just waiting for the URL. So now we have a ping function that has it in there. And so we have these partial applications, but it's still pure. This fetch is not gonna be affected by the outside world. And that, ladies and gentlemen, if you're wondering how to do default parameters in a pure functional way, that's how you do 